is my frontline staff are asking women to walk away uh, at a time where we know our city is not safe for them. And our frontline staff are asking people with mental health issues to find another place to go tonight when we know that things are full. The city of Winnipeg is partnering with several organizations to expand the number of pop-up shelter spaces during this winter as calls continue to expand permanent housing across the city. The City of Winnipeg and End Homelessness Winnipeg via the federal government's Reaching Home program is spending a joint $265,000 for the additional pop-up shelter spaces that will be at Silo Mission. The pop-up will be staffed by workers from Silo Mission, One Just City, Main Street Project and Sunshine House. As the weather gets colder, one of the biggest challenges that we can have in moments in this city, especially in the winter months, is getting people, uh, for example, out of transit shelters and out of encampments and into warm, safe places where they can be connected to appropriate supports. When uh, population needs, needs uh, support, needs shelter, over and above costs such as uh, fuel costs for transportation, for staffing, for, for food, for emergency supplies, for to keep the relatives, uh, just to provide the, the very basic needs. There are three sets of criteria that must be met for the pop-up shelter to open. That includes overnight temperatures, feeling like minus 10 degrees Celsius or colder, all emergency shelters reaching capacity, and the ability to have a minimum of four staff present to operate the pop-up. While the news is welcome for the city's organizations working on the front lines, they say it's not a permanent solution. We're excited to not need this, so let's build housing. Also coming out of Wednesday's announcement is the news the city of Winnipeg is working on allowing St. Boniface Street Links to use 604 St. Mary's Road this winter to provide a 24-7 safe space. The city was looking to sell the property after it was declared surplus and with it needing repairs. I'm really delighted to say that the city and uh, our organization have been working hand in glove to try to make that happen as soon as possible. Our own teams have been uh, undertaking those uh, as quickly as they can this month. Uh, to to try and ensure that we've got her, uh, the organization, proper lawful occupancy by, by early December. Now the city CAO says there's still plans in place to sell 604 St. Mary's Road. As for the pop-up shelter space here at Silo Mission, when open, it will run from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. with the decision to open up the space made three days in advance. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.